YouTube, it's Lipbomb Queen here. Just want to get in here today, and I wanted to share my Dollar General haul that I did yesterday. Um, I did this haul yesterday, but I wasn't really feeling that well yesterday, so I didn't film. But um, I definitely wanted to get in here, and I, don't, I wanted to show y'all what I picked up. Um, I originally picked up two of these packs, but I, today I had to go back and get the third because I don't know how long they're going to be there. And with my crazy obsession with lip smackers, I was like, I've got to have these in my life. So I went and picked them up. So these were $5 a pack, which, I don't know, kind of reasonable for lip smackers. I don't know, because um, they could range a lot more than that with the, this big of a pack. You get these from Dollar, Dollar General, and they're in the um, Christmas set section right now, like where they have the makeup sets and things. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the Lip Smacker Best Flavor Forever uh, pack, and this is in, um, this is a seven-piece fruit party pack. And these have some awesome, awesome lip smackers in these. And the ones that I see is Kiwi, Strawberry Vanilla, Candy Cane, uh, Mallow Chick. Um, what's this other one he's trying to hide? Mango and Strawberry Candy. And they look like this. And um, let me open it real quick because I want to tell you what the last flavor was in here. Because it's hiding in the package and you can't see it. Sorry if I'm sniffling. I'm not. I just haven't felt good. I don't know what my deal is. I guess the weather change. I don't know. Um, this one's called Sugar Plum Frosting. That's the one that was hiding. So I'll start with this one since um, because I want to smell them and let you know what I think of them. Um, so Sugar Plum Frosting's the first one. And um, it does. It has like a a fruity. It does smell like a sugar plum kind of. Like the way you think a sugar plum would smell. It does. It smells really good. But I'm excited to have these. I love this because these sets had so many different, um, like, ranges of different ones in it. And this one is Mallow Chick. And, of course, this was an Easter-looking one. This just has sets with different ones in it. I love it. And this smells like um, a, sweet, a sweet smell, like a vanilla kind of scent. It smells good. But that's a mellow chick. Then, of course, one of my favorites is the mango. I love this lip smacker so much. It smells so good. It has that rich mango scent. It's like lip smackers knows exactly how to, um, like, get that flavor, like that scent. They've got it, like, down pat. Um, this one here is strawberry candy. Oh, my gosh. It really does. It smells like, you know the little strawberry candies? You know the ones that um, look like the strawberry wrapper with the green top? God, it smells just like that. Oh my god, it smells so good. I actually did not own this in my collection, so I'm super excited to have this. Um, that's why I bought these sets. I know they were $5, and that is, you know, kind of expensive, but I went with it because it's lip smackers. I love these. I collect these. They are like my thing. So... This one here is probably going to be one of my favorites because I love anything peppermint or candy cane. And this is the Lip Smacker candy cane. And, um, oh gosh, yes. It smells so sweet and minty. I love it. Mm. And it's like the pink, light pink. Just like the peppermint they make. And this one's strawberry vanilla. Love the package and all that pink. And it, oh man, it does. It really does smell like a rich strawberry scent. Mmm, smells good. And then this one's the Kiwi, and I love this one. Oh my gosh, I have this in my Best Flavor pack, um, in my collection. And it smells so good. It reminds me of my childhood. Because, um, me and my friend, we collected lip smackers. Like, we were obsessed with them when we were little, too, like I am now. But when I was little... We had, like, our caboodles. I know y'all had a caboodle. Y'all had to have a caboodle. And it was just full. I mean, I was overflowing with lip smackers. I had so many lip smackers. I mean, I had the sun ones that you could put on a necklace. They had a little holes on the top where you could hook them up to like a keychain or a necklace. I had those. I had all of them. Like, I had so many. And I had all the big ones, the real biggies. I had those. I had the roll-ons. I had so many lip smackers. And this right here is just one that I remember having. And, like, that smell, it just brings me back. And I absolutely love the kiwi that's like one of my favorites and then um the next set that i picked up 
in the summer these are going to be repeats with like scents and uh, stuff but i wanted to make sure i had all the scents so that's fine to have extra i love to have backup lip smokers um so this sets another seven pack but um this one here has um let me open it up for you guys So this one has a repeat. It has my kiwi in it. So I'm excited to have two of those because I love that. And then <clears throat> they have another pink one here. But this one is strawberry cheesecake. And this one does smell good. I remember having this one. Yes. It has a real nice strawberry um, scent to it. I don't smell much cheesecake. But um, it's strawberry. But it has almost like a different scent to it. Um, but it's really good. So I'm excited to have that one. And then... This one here I did not have. This is the um, Lip Smacker in Snowflake Cocoa. So, let me smell this one. This one, oh yeah. It does, it has like a light cocoa scent. It's not strong. It almost smells like a vanilla and chocolate mix or something. Because you smell the cocoa, but you also smell like a vanilla scent. That smells so good. I'm excited for that. So I picked up this one. And then this one I did not have. And I was so excited to get it. This is the Lip Smacker and Sour Apple. I love the packaging on this one. Like, yes. Why not? Oh, yeah. Definitely Sour Apple. It reminds me of the Green Apple Laffy Taffy. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm excited for that. Because I did not have this one. And I love the packaging on that. And then we've got a Lip Smacker in Butter Mints. And I love the package with like the little flowers and stuff on it. How cute is that? And this one is green. And it does. It really does smell like one of them. You know them uh, butter dinner mints that you can get? Like the different colored ones? It seriously smells like that. God, they're good. They can make these things smell exactly like what they're supposed to. It's amazing. And the last two in this pack is one I did not have. This was in coconut cake. I love the design on this too. And I was excited because I did not have coconut cake. And this one has a... Oh, man. It does. It smells like a coconut cake. For real. Oh, has a nice coconut scent. And like almost like a vanilla scent, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I am so happy. I'm going to be like in Lip Smacker heaven with all these now that I have them open. And then they have a Lip Smacker. And I did not have this one. This was in Lim Lemon Square. I swear I thought this was a newer one, like, from their last bit. Um, I swear this was a newer one from last year. It's in Lemon Square. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. And it has, like, a nice lemon scent. Like, it's really... It's nice. It's not a strong one. It's just a nice lemon scent. Mm. So, I love that. And it has the pretty, like, yellow chapstick to it. And then, um... And then the last one I picked up, um, pack-wise, this was, um, more of like a Christmassy, um, look to it. So I picked up this pack, and I picked this one up today, I think. I think this is the one that I picked up. I just wanted to make sure I got them all, um, because, um, like I told you, I am obsessed with lip smackers, and y'all are probably so tired of me saying that. But I am. I have loved Lip Smacker since a child, and I definitely want them in my life. So, um, I got a repeat in this. I got a repeat Kiwi, and I got a repeat Strawberry Cheesecake. Then, of course, you have to have this. If you're a Lip Smacker collector, you gotta have this one in your collection. This is the Watermelon. This one, is, it smells so good. It has that artificial watermelon smell, but it smells amazing. There's nothing like a Watermelon Lip Smacker. Oh, it smells so good. Anyways, um, then the other four in here, I don't think I have. I think I do have the Holiday Punch, but I do not have um, the Gumdrop, I don't think. This one's Holiday Punch, and I love the packaging on that. It looks really 80s to me, like the colors and stuff. Mm, and it has a nice, um, it almost smells like Kool-Aid, like the uh, Fruit Punch Kool-Aid. It smells good, and it has like the real pretty pink color then I um, also have the lip smacker in ice cream cake and I do not have this one so I'm excited for it and let me swatch it on my hand so I can smell it better sometimes if you swatch it on your hand you can smell it better and this one has a nice 
vanilla scent, but it's um, it smells really good. It smells really good. It's like a nice vanilla scent, but it smells really good, like a creamy vanilla smell. Um, so I have this one ice cream cake. Then I got the one in Gumdrop. I love the packaging on that too. And this one is a purple. Oh my god, it smells like um. Oh man, what does it smell like? It almost smells like, you know the Major League bubble gum uh, that comes in like a little pouch and it's like the grape one? That's kind of what it smells like to me. Oh man, that smells good. So I got the gumdrop. And then the last one in these packs is the uh, caramel corn. And I did not own this. I was so excited to get this. Um, I love the packaging on it. And it really does. It smells just like caramel corn. Oh my gosh. How do they capture these scents in this? Oh my gosh. Oh man, that's definitely a fall one to be using. So I'm excited for that. So caramel corn. And then they had um, a bunch of, they had three of the big packs of these, like the party packs. Then they had little individual, like um, it was two packs and they had like the Disney princess ones. And um, I think there was a frozen one too, but some of them I already have because I somebody had got me um, the the princess collection that has the princesses um, and stuff in it. But this one I didn't have, so I definitely picked it up. This one here is called, T um, it's the Dizzy Princess and it has Belle and um, Aurora in it. Um, and this one, the Belle one is called Tea Party Cakes. Oh, tea Party Cakes. I can't read today, evidently. It's Tea Party Treats. <laughs> I made up my own Tea Party Cakes. Um, it's Tea Party Treats. And then the Aurora one is called uh, Spun Sugar Shine. I do have the big one in this Aurora one, but I don't have the little and I wanted the little one. So, And um, I had to get the Tea Party Treats one because I don't own that one. So I picked up the two pack of that. And these are $3. The big packs are 5 The small ones are 3 um, which isn't bad. But, um, I wanted to pick these up and show them to y'all. So this one I do have, and I do love this. Um, this is the, uh, Spun Sugar Shine. It's the Aurora one, Sleeping Beauty. Um, and, oh my gosh. It does. It smells so sweet. It has a, um, a van kind of a, like a light vanilla scent, but it also has like a, almost like, um, a, like a light, um, cotton candy scent too. It smells really good. And it's the pink. And then the last lip smacker I want to show you guys is this one here. This is the Belle um, one uh, from Beauty and the Beast and it's Tea Party Treats. And um, let me see if I can smell it. This one kind of has a vanilla scent too. Oh no, no, no. Mm -mm. Now that I've got it swashed, I can smell it better. It smells just like the, um, the vanilla, is it vanilla frosting lip smacker? The one that I'm obsessed, like, it comes in, like, the, um, gloss tube. It smells just like that. Oh, my gosh. And it's got that, um, whitish color to it. Um, so I'm excited for these. So, as you know, of course, I'm gonna be excited because, um, I'm just stocked with lip smackers. Not that I wasn't already, but, you know, I had to pick them up. But the last thing I want to show you guys, I'm trying not to make this video super long. It's already at like 13 and a half minutes. Um, I wanted to show you these. These are the um, Lot of Love um, Beauty um, lip balms. And I picked them up because they were right beside the lip smackers and they were only a dollar a piece. So I was like, well, it can't hurt to pick them up because they're just cute. If you don't like the actual lip balm itself, you could at least keep them for the packaging because the packaging is adorable. So I picked up um, Pickle. I know, a pickle lip balm, but it's just so cute. Like the packaging alone. How freaking cute is that? A little pickle man. And then I picked up um, the cotton candy. And he's so cute. And then I picked up the uh, donut lip balm. I thought that was so cute. And then I picked up the s'mores. And the little s'more marshmallows. Look how cute they are. I was just stuck. Like, I was like, I have to get these. Like, I couldn't leave them behind. So, I want to go here and open them for you guys and review them. Why not, right? I had a lot of hit and miss on these Lotta Love lip balms because some of them have, like, no scent to them at all. Some have really good scent. 
Um, I think the fa most favorite one that I have, I picked it from Dollar Tree. It's called the Chocolate Milkshake. That's my absolute favorite one. I love that one. And this one here, um, I'm getting ready to open it. I can't wait to smell. This one's going to be the pickle. So it looks like this. It's like the little pickle, the little pickle on the front. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I don't know about this one. Oh my god. It smells like, um, <laughs> I know it's supposed to have like a vinegar smell because it's a pickle, but it smells like, um, like a dirty gym sock. Oh, I don't know about this one. I'm starting to sound stuffy now. It's clear. Like, you know, it's going to go on sheer. But, um, oh, God. No, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> it smells. It has, like, a, like, sour, um, sour smell to it. Okay, let's hope the s'mores is better. Okay, there's s'mores, and then there's the little package, and I love that little s'more on there. He's so cute. Okay, and this is a clear one too. Let's have better luck, right? Okay, this one smells more of a marshmallow smell. That smells a lot better. Yeah, I could uh, I could see myself using that one. Pickle, oh, I'm, that's gonna be kept just for looks, I think. And then they have the donut, and look at the little donut right here, the little white one. Look at his little teeth. I think he is so cute. I'm a sucker for packaging, like it's bad. Um, so this one's a clear one too. And this one smells like, um, it kind of smells like a donut. If you think about it, like the way a donut would smell, it has like this real sweet smell. It smells pretty good. It almost smells like an ice in it because it's really sweet smelling. And then this one here is the cotton candy, which is the last one. And I thought it was so cute. And oh, this one does smell like cotton candy. It's not real strong. But you can smell it. it smells like cotton candy. It smells really sweet. And then it's pink. And I will swatch it for you to see if it shows any color at all. No. I don't see any color. I swatched it on my hand, but um, I don't see any color from it. Um, I think this goes on clear, but um, yeah. These are a win. The s'mores, the donut, and the um, cotton candy. But the pickle, mm -mm. if you don't want the packaging, go for it, but it smells like a sock. Ugh, like a dirty gym sock. Okay. But anyways, I just want to get on here and I want to share this with you guys and do this quick review and impressions with y'all and let you know what I think of them. Um, I just wanted to show y'all the quick um, sets that I found at Dollar General. So I hope you can find them too if you're looking for them. And I hope you all have a blessed day and a wonderful week. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.